Good grade sevens. I hope you're all good. I hope you made time yesterday to go through um, code.org and you also made time to explore on Scratch. Um, I, I, I hope you went to explore, I hope you went to animation just to check what other people have done so far. And I hope you have ideas right now, right? So yesterday we spoke about the fact that you have to write down some ideas, an idea of a game that you wanna design, an idea of a website that you wanna design, or an app, right? So I believe you're gonna have, um, you're gonna share different and brilliant ideas. So let's just get into it. And like I always tell you, it's important for you to have questions before you, 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 you sit in a lesson, right? You need to have questions because at the end of the day, there are things that you need to learn from, from this lesson, right? So we are going to use the KWL again, okay? Uh, we're going to use the KWL method, right? What do you know, what do you want to know, and what have you learned, right? Okay, so at the end of this lesson, you will justify decisions by demonstrating an understanding of the if, and then statement right so for example um we we spoke about this yesterday right so for example if okay before before i continue this is what you should ask yourself right now what do you know about the if and then statement right um so this statement is a statement that applies in our everyday life and say let's take this for an example if this happens then that has to happen right um if if i dial a number right and then the next phone should ring right so it's just one example that i can use for now but you're gonna jump straight into different examples after this Okay, so one other question that you need to ask yourself is what do you want to know about the if and then statement, right? So I want you to write down all the questions that you have, have them on the side, and then hopefully at the end of this lesson, I would have answered all your questions. And then I'm also gonna give you time at the end of the lesson to ask questions, right? Okay, so when you're talking about the if and then statement, what do we mean? Right, so the if and then statement is a rule that says if one thing is true, then the other thing is also true, right? If the team wins the semifinal, then the team will play in the championship. So that's, that's basic, right? So if you win, then you're gonna move on to the next level, right? Um, I believe in your natural science, you, you learned about hypothesis and conclusion, right? So we're gonna focus on this for now as one example. Um, so if your, hy your hypothesis says, if, if part the statement that must be true for all the rule to apply, right? And then the conclusion, the part that can be assumed if the hypothesis is true, right? So in other words, if you gonna, so in a hypothesis is a scientific guess, right? So you're gonna guess that if I do this, this will happen. And then you're gonna run your program. And then at the end, you're gonna conclude that um, my hypothesis was right or my hypothesis was wrong. Okay, so let's take an Uber app, for example. Um, if you request, say you are home, you wanna go to school, right? And then you request, um, you put in your address, put in the school address, what's gonna happen? Then the car will come and then it will drop you off at your respective location, right? Because you requested and it came. If, then, right? So let's look, let's check another example. Um, the traffic light, also known as the robot, right? Um, so if the light is red, what do you do? You stop, right? If it's green, you go. So this is also um, part of programming, right? Okay, before we jump into, into Scratch, I want us to do a bit of um, revision on code.org, but we're not going straight to code.org. We are going to quizzes, just play a, um, a short quiz. 
just to remind ourselves of the things that we did from last week. Okay, let's share that screen. Okay. Okay, so this is quizzes. Um, so this is a platform where you find multiple choice questions, right? Um, you find fun games, fun activities and educational activities, right? So this is one that I've created just for revision. So we're gonna go through it, All right? Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you the link to this quiz after the lesson. Okay, so the question is, getting help from a large group of people to finish something sooner is called what? So if, for example, you have an idea of designing an app and you want different people to come together and work on that same program, you call those people um, crowdsourcing, right? Okay, and then we spoke about patterns um, this week. We did a few activities on patterns. And a theme that is repeated many times is called a what? When you look at this picture, you see a pattern, right? So our answer is going to be pattern. To break a hard pro um, problem uh, um, into smaller and easier problems, right? So this also goes back to your natural science. We spoke about the breaking down of, um, of things. So that's called what? Decomposing. So to break a hard problem up into smaller and easier problems, we call it decompose. Okay, um, so we also um, use loops and we use different steps to move forward to do any, everything. So a list of steps to finish a task is called an algorithm, right? Because these things follow each other. As you can see, this is up, this is left, this is right. So that's your algorithm. Okay, a placeholder for a piece of information that can change is called a variable, right? So these are terms that we've learned sometime last week and this week, and we're just doing a bit of revision before we can jump straight into Scratch. The method of problem solving to find digital solution is called computational thinking, right? So that includes your decomposing, your abstraction, your algorithms, et cetera. So that's computational thinking. Okay, the art of creating a program. So when you look at this picture, you see the program that was um, actually put together, right? So that's called programming. Okay, and then you also spoke about debugging, right? So a part of the program that does not work correctly is called a what? A bug. So you need to remove the bug, right? To make sure that your program runs smoothly. Okay, we are almost done. Two more questions to go. Then you're gonna jump straight into Scratch, right? Okay, um, to remove details from a solution so that it can work for many problems is called abstraction. Last question. I'm sure by now you know this even in your sleep because we spoke about loops over and over and over again. So the action of doing something over and over again is called looping, right? So we're going to use the pink puzzle, the loop um, on code.org, but on Scratch, it's a different thing, right? You also find loops, but don't expect a loop to be pink all the time. Right. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna pause a bit. And then if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me right now. And then we are going to jump straight into Scratch. Any questions? Yes, Salim. Oh, is it Hadia? I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Please forgive me if I'm not. If I see your hand is up. Do you want to say something? Okay, um, I'll come back to you later. So let's proceed. Um, so on Scratch today, the only thing that you're gonna focus on is the puzzle that you spoke about, the if and then, right? I don't wanna bombard you with a lot because it's gonna be a lot for you to, to digest. So we're gonna take this one step at a time and Let's go back to our web browser and then you're going to go to Scratch. Okay. Okay. Um, so this is one program that I was playing around with. It's nothing, it's nothing big. It's just an intro because if I have a lot of um, blog codes that filled my screen, I'm sure you're going to be so confused. Um, so you're gonna go back. We're gonna start with the, with um, revision again. We said these things are called sprites, right? As you can see here, it's written sprite, right? It's not a character; it's a sprite. And then on Scratch, you also have different coding platforms, like different codes for different events, right? And then you have your play area and then you have your, your toolbox and your workspace so this is your workspace if you can check this sprite right here um is also here right meaning that we are programming this one if you want to add more sprites you click on that choose a sprite and then you have different sprites right okay so I'm gonna take um, a soccer ball, for example, place it there. And let's let's change our backdrop as well, right? Because you can't play soccer at night in the forest. Let's change that to a soccer field. Let's get a soccer field. Okay. Now we have our soccer ball, we have our soccer field, right? So check again. Um, so this sprite is already programmed, right? As you can see up here. So this is a program for this sprite. If you click on the soccer ball, you'll see it here, but there's nothing. So we're gonna have to program the soccer ball, right? So what do you want the soccer ball to do? So you're gonna go to control, right and then when i go to operations so you need to familiarize yourselves with all these controls right with all these codes you need to familiarize yourself okay so we are going to do that so bear in mind with the sensing part these codes go inside here right they don't go here because as you can see it's like a puzzle piece it needs to fit um it's supposed to fit right and then for this part you're gonna have to use codes that for example this one right because it fits right right there can you see that so right now what you're gonna do is we want the soccer ball to move towards the goal post, right? So let's program our soccer ball. So when we click, let's go to control, I mean events. When you click on the sprite, right? This sprite right here, that's the one that we are programming right now. 
when you click on this sprite, what's going to happen? Um, what do you want the ball to do? Um, go to motion. Okay. Okay. So what's going to happen right now, let's check our first code. Let's check our first sprite, see how the, the code was designed. Um, so firstly, when this sprite is clicked, right? When this sprite is clicked, what's going to happen? Um, the sprite is going to ask a question, what color am I? And then it's going to wait for me um, to type in the answer. Then if the answer is correct, then it's going to say correct. But if the answer is incorrect, it's going to say incorrect, right? So these are also codes that um, you can play around with. You can write anything that are editable, right? So I'm going to put it back and then because already I want him to say incorrect, right? Okay. Um, so when I click on that, that's the question that he's going to ask. What color am I? And I'm going to type in an answer, right? Then that. What is it going to say? Correct. Why? Because of this um, op operation. Can you see that green operation? What happened there was if you go to operations and then you choose this block right here, right? And you go to sensing. It's actually motion, sorry. Oh, it's actually here. And then you take your answer, you put it inside. So whatever answer that you type there, right? Is, um, that's what your sprite is gonna say, right? So I don't wanna move too quick because I don't wanna confuse you. For today, we're only gonna focus on this. And then I'm sure after this, we have, you'll have more ideas on what you want to design. Okay, so let's program our soccer ball. Let's stop this. Delete that. Oh, before anything else, I just want to show you something. Okay. Okay. These are all the the the, the coding blocks that I've dragged from from this side, right? all these coding blocks or you can also make your own right but let's not focus on that for today because we are um, interested in the if and then statement okay so when you click a sprite um what's going to happen um you can ask any question right you can ask any question it's not about questions only it's up to you what you want to design i'm using questions as an example right and then I'm gonna do that, put, um, let's go to operators. Okay, put that in. What do we want, an answer or what? I think so, let's go to sensing. should be here, there, right? So can you see, if you click on that, it will show the answer automatically up there, but we don't want that because if you're gonna share this with your friends, your friends will have to guess the answer first, right? So if they guess the answer, which is, what's the answer? The answer is orange, right? And then if the answer is correct, then your sprite is going to say, correct but if your answer is is something else then your sprite is going to say incorrect right so let's do that again um what color am i if i say blue 
that's incorrect. If I say red, incorrect. But if I say orange, um, sorry, let's change that question again. Stop that. Click on the sprite dot color in my orange. Click on it. then your sprite's gonna say correct. Any questions so far? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Um, okay, let's proceed with the lesson. Then we're gonna go back to Scratch and then you're gonna explore other things, right? Okay, so let's go back to our lesson. Go back to our lesson. So remember, if you wanna start coding on Scratch, you go to scratch.mit.edu. I don't want you to download the app, right? You can use it online and Oh, let's go back. I want to show you something. When you go online, this is what you have to do, right? Um, okay. Let's go back to our web browser. And when you go into Scratch, right? Let me just sign out. When you go into Scratch, this is a page that you will see, right? And then I want you to click on Join Scratch, and then you sign up, right? You are going to sign up. After signing up, then that's when you're gonna start creating, right? Um, so I'm gonna log in. And then you'll see that whatever that you do, whatever that you create will be saved here, right? So when you click on this file, you will see all the other pro projects, right? So these are some of the projects that I've created before, right? Um, so you can, like each time you, you, you do something, it's either it's gonna save automatically or you're gonna have to save it manually, right? Um, but, please make sure you log in first and you have that because if you don't log in you won't be like your programs won't be won't be saved your projects won't be saved so please make sure you sign up and then you can start right so i know yesterday i showed you a few um a few videos so we're gonna do the same thing again right so for example if you're interested in creating a story right when you go to ideas, then you can actually get some, some ideas, right? Okay, so let's see that for now. Let's look at that. You can use Scratch to tell a story, create a conversation, switch scenes, or do whatever else you can imagine. Get started. I'll go with the witch house. Now let's pick a sprite. I'll pick the wizard. Let's have our character say something. I'll have my character say, welcome to magic school. I'd like to add another character, so I'll choose another sprite. This time I'll pick the elf. It looks like the elf isn't facing the wizard, so I'll change the way they're looking. Let's go to the costume tab and choose flip horizontal. So the costume is now flipped to face the wizard. Let's make a conversation. I'll add a say block to the elf sprite. I'll make this character say, I'm going on a quest. Let's click the green flag and see what happens. They both speak at the same time. So let's go ahead and add a wait block before the elf speaks. I'll make this two seconds. Let's have the characters change scenes. I'll add another background. This time I'll choose mountain. I'll reselect the elf sprite and go back to the coding area. 
let's have the characters start at the witch house. Wait four seconds, which is how long the conversation is. And then switch to the mountain backdrop. Finally, what if we don't want the wizard to be in the mountain scene? Let's go back to the wizard sprite and add a when backdrop switches to block. I'll set it to mountain and make the wizard hide. Let's try it out. Looks good. Now let's replay the project. The wizard doesn't show up at all. That's because we've hidden it. So what we'll need to do is add a show block at the top of the script so that whenever someone replays the project, the wizard will show first. Click the green arrow to see this code again and explore what else you might add to your story. Okay, so that's one example of um, storytelling, right? Um, if you're interested in, this, uh, in creating a story, say, for example, you have an activity in English, maybe to write an essay or to tell a story or, or, or a speech or anything, right? you can also use coding and you can tell your story through your code, right? Um, so, like I said before, coding is not, o is not only um, focused on IT, you can use coding in any subject, right? um english maths etc because as you can see here um you have your x variables you have your your y axis your x axis and everything so this is it basically all the subjects right it covers all the subjects right. any questions so far any questions Okay, no questions. Okay. Um, so once you go to scratch.mit.edu, you sign up, right? After signing up, you are going to have to click create and then you're gonna start creating, right? Um, but before you create, if you still don't feel comfortable creating something, what I want you to do is I want you to go through like video tutorials, go to explore, um check everything else right because they're different games different animations um so if you want to grab some um, brilliant ideas please go through that first before you start coding right after that i want you to be as creative as you can be right okay so i'm gonna take a pause and then i want us to talk about what we've learned so far right um, you can type on your chat box or you can um, unmute yourself and ask me. Yes, Salim, your hand is up. You can unmute yourself and you can ask me that question. Salim. Listen. I've learned how to make a story. You learn how to make a story. So, do you think if I say to you, um, create a story right now, will you be able to? Salim. Yes. Will you be able to if I say create a yes. story right now? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so if, okay, let me ask you one question. So what what is the first block that you're gonna use, the first coding block that you're gonna use? When click. When click, awesome. I'm glad we are on the same page, you are on the right track. I'm glad you're learning something today. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Anyone else? Okay, Unchi says, I learned how to make an animated story. Okay, so guys, I hope you, you, you actually um, 
mean what you're saying right now because if i'm going to give you an activity and say please do this for me i want to see if you you'll be able to do that right um joanna says i've learned how to use scratch i've learned what coding is how to program debugging looping and how to create a story that's a lot that you've learned john i'm i'm, I'm so proud of you i'm glad you've learned all that okay wow um just a statement that i want to leave you with to think about right the if then statements applies in our everyday lives right our choices are based on the if then statement right so that's a quote that i came up with after i was going through this lesson so if you can check a lot of things that happen all around us are based on the if and then um, for example, if you are going to leave the tap running, what's going to happen? Then the house will be, will be flooded. If then applies in our everyday lives, it applies in almost everything that we come across that we face. Right? Okay, again, please, please, please. Okay, before we continue, I want to know how many people have actually designed something on code.org. If you have, please raise your hand. If you went through code.org after the activities that um, I, we went through, I want you to raise your hand right now. Okay. Onchi. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly, but I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not. Okay, so only one person, only one person's hand is raised. Oh, how also? Okay, um, so guys, remember, Joanna, thank you. Remember, guys, um, you doing these activities, you're not doing them for me, it's for your own benefit, right? You are the one who's then, you are the one who's interested in doing animation, you're the one who's interested in designing a game. So make sure you practice these things because I won't be around to, to to design those things for you, right? I'm just giving you the basics, I'm giving you the structures, and from then you can pick up something and then you can be as creative as you want to, then you can create something total different, right? Um, so, tomorrow we are going to continue with the same lesson, but we are going to, like it's gonna be more advanced, we're gonna use more um, more coding blocks. So just know that tomorrow's lesson will be similar to this one, but we'll be focusing more on the practical side of it because today it was just the theoretical part of it. We're going to focus on the practical side of it. You're going to do um, more coding on Scratch, right? And again, my email address is displayed there. Um, if you have any questions, just drop me an email. If there's something that you wanna share with me, something that you've created, please share that. My email is right on, in front of your screen. Okay, Joanna says, I've created a Star Wars game. Oh, that's awesome. Please, please, please share with us. Um, if you are able to, please email it to me. Um, on what platform did you create your Star Wars game, Joanna? I just unmuted you so you can just share. What platform did you use to create your Star Wars game? Okay, she says, I've created a Star Wars game on course D. So, okay, so Joanna went to code.org and went to course D, and then she created um, a story, right? A game on, on, on Star Wars. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, so I'm gonna open up for questions right now. If there aren't any questions, we're gonna continue with Scratch. We're gonna go through a few videos and then we're gonna start coding again, right? So if there's nothing for now, I think we're gonna go back to Scratch. We have 10 minutes, so yeah, let's just explore on Scratch, right? Um, I don't wanna code that much. I just wanna show you different things, different ideas, 
um, just to give you the, the kickstart, right? To, to get you excited to actually want to design something, right? So if you go to explore or if you go to ideas, that's when you're gonna see a lot of things that you can do, right? Um, let's go to animate a character, right? And then you're gonna go to Pong game after that. Okay. You can use Scratch to animate a character and bring it to life. Make it say something, move around, or do whatever else you can imagine. To get started, let's pick a background. I'll choose the Arctic. Next, let's pick a sprite. I'll choose the penguin. Let's make our character say something. I'll have my character say hello. Now let's animate it talking. We can do this by switching the sprite's costumes. Click the costume tab to see the different costumes. We see this sprite has four costumes. Let's start with the penguin's mouth open, which is costume B. Then wait 0.5 seconds. and then switch to costume A, which is the penguin's mouth closed. Maybe we have a play a sound at the beginning. Finally, let's add a wind green flag click block on top to start the code. Click the green arrow to see this code again and explore what else you might add to your project. Okay, so that's one um, story that you can create, you can get an idea from, right? Um, so that's animation, right? So you can animate your characters. You can also add your voice note, right? You can add your voice and have characters talk instead of using um, the bubble speeches, right? So you can actually record yourself and then you can upload your voice right here, right? Um, let's go to explore. And then let's go to games, right? So these are some of the games that were created by, were designed by people around the world. So these also should give you ideas on the game that you want to create. So I'm gonna play one game just for a few minutes, just to show you how um, exciting Scratch can be, right? So it says here, press any key to start. So the person who actually programmed this game actually gave this instruction, right? So I'm gonna press any key, right? And then I'm gonna start. Okay, okay so now we need to run away from that zombie. Can you see the zombie is coming down? I have to run away from the zombie. Let me go up here. Okay. I'm stuck. <laughs> you can see, so the game is basically running away from the zombie. And as you can see right here, the time is counting down. So by the time it gets to zero, then I won the challenge, right? So that's how, that's how the game was designed, right? So by the time it hits zero, then I won the challenge. Any questions? Okay. Um, so like I told you, go to scratch.mit.edu and then sign up first before you can actually do anything. Please don't jump straight into create, just explore, get, um, get ideas, just go through it and see what people have done, right? And then you can also go into YouTube, search for your Scratch um, videos, and then you'll see how some of the games are actually designed. I don't want you to copy and paste, I want you to get ideas, right? Be creative, don't create something that's already created. Create something original, right? Okay, any questions?
Any questions? Okay, let's go to music. People have also made music on Scratch, right? People made music on Scratch. Crazy, I know. Okay, let's see that. Hey, everybody. Hey. Salut. Hey. Hi. Oi. Hello. Yo. All right, everyone, too. Let's get started. <laughs> so you came, but I ain't going down that easy. Why are we all souls? Or uh, what happened? We're all going to die. <laughs> Je suis très fâché. You guys have to chill out. Haven't you already played Undertale, guys? Yeah, I have. Guys, shh, listen. Hmm, who am I gonna target? Darn. Guys, I was disconnected. I'll connect back as soon as possible. Be right back. Well, great, we lost those down. Well, what about you guys? Where are you guys? Uh, we just respawned at the spawn. It's gonna take a while for us to get. So that was just to give you an idea that you can also create movies, right? Um, you can have your friends um, recording different sounds and then you can actually um, upload the sounds and then you can create a movie. I'm not saying after today, please start creating a movie. It's, it's not gonna be that easy. I just want you to explore, get ideas first before you can actually attempt to do something, right? Um, so yeah, please go through this and then tomorrow you're gonna continue, but tomorrow we're not gonna be watching a lot of videos. We gone, we, we are going to use Scratch, we're going to program and hopefully um, you are going to open a web browser at the same time as I do so and then we're going to do something together, right? So if there are no questions right now, um, I'd like to ask you one question. Okay. What are you going to create? What idea do you have? So if you have an idea, please share with us. We only have three minutes. I'm gonna pause for a bit just to hear your ideas. And then we are going to say goodbye to each other in the moment to see you tomorrow. What are you going to create? What will you create? What idea do you have? Please share with us. If you want to, you can unmute yourself and then you can share with us. Okay, Joanna. Joanna's idea is to make a dress up game. Wow. That's also a good idea, right? Um, so it's gonna be very interesting because you 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 always play dress up games, but you don't know how they created those games. So you coding and actually um, designing your own game that will give you an idea of what people went through to actually design these games. Who knows? Maybe you might be um, the one creating um, what do you call it, FIFA FIFA twenty two, right, or FIFA twenty three. Okay, the monkey has to collect all the bananas. Um, already there's, there's um, the coding game that does that, Code Monkey. So the monkey literally goes around and collects all the bananas. Okay, Devon says, save the princess. So you wanna code the game that um, you wanna save the princess, okay? You want to make an animal game. Okay, when she says you want to make an animal game. Thank you for sharing those ideas with me. I'm going to have to leave and love you guys. Please stay safe, watch all the time, and take good care of yourself. Goodbye, everyone.